This is the first of a seven video series that describes the required steps and best practices for bringing a model from Autodesk Revit MEP using East Coast's MEP to design fabrication, over to fabrication for AutoCAD MEP and later into DuckMaker for fabrication, using the patented East Coast CAD CAM design to fabrication workflow and software. In this video, I will be showing you the steps to take to specify a good working background drawing in Revit MEP for use in fabrication for AutoCAD MEP. In Revit MEP, we will create separate export files for each floor as this is how we plan to break this drawing up for use in fabrication for AutoCAD MEP. First, we find a view that has all of the information that we need for that particular floor. Here, we will use the first floor mechanical plan. You have the option now to filter out any information that you do not want to be part of your background. To do this, you would use the Revit MEP filters. To use the filters, you want to select on a piece of duct, right click, override graphics and view by category. The model categories tab allows you to turn elements on or off by category. For example, you can turn off all of your duct and duct fittings using these two check marks. The annotation categories tab now allows you to turn items such as tags on or off by type. For this example, we are going to include the entire background drawing. Here we will select everything in the first floor mechanical plan view, and then with these items selected, we will switch to the 3D view. Now you can see that within the 3D view, only the first floor is selected. You can now temporarily isolate the selection by using the eyeglasses command down below which is located right here. We're going to isolate the element. Now that I've isolated the floor, we will export the background by selecting the Revit MEP icon. We'll go to Export, CAD Formats, DWG Files. Then you will want to go to the Modify Export Setup button. Go to the Solids tab, and we're going to go with the Asus Solids over the Poly Mesh. Here, we want the files of type to be AutoCAD 2010 DWG files. We're going to leave the temporary height ISO mode on and export. Now at this point, we are ready to import the background drawing into Fabrication for AutoCAD MEP. Inside of Fabrication for AutoCAD MEP, we select the Insert tab, and we'll select Insert Block. Here we'll browse to the export file that we just created. Make sure at this point you do not have Specify on Screen checked off. But you will want to have Explode checked off, which is located right here in the bottom left corner. Having Explode checked off allows you to move items around if necessary, such as air terminals, mechanical equipment, you can move fittings. When you import this background, the items in the background will be placed on layers according to the way they were drawn in Revit. This allows you the ability to be able to turn off certain items in the background using the standard AutoCAD MEP Layers tools. To get to this, it's on the Home tab. Go to Layers. It's Layers Properties. Here we can scroll down. You see here we have the MHVAC duct turns off all of the ductwork. We have a air terminals, turns off all of them. We also have a mechanical equipment layers 